Assalamu alaikum hi and welcome dear students of mathematics and physics and engineering students of levels under graduation and beginning graduation in this lecture we will start chapter number 2 on computational fluid dynamics and this course is taught in MSc MPhil level uh, that are uh, that are uh, senior under graduation levels and beginning uh, graduation levels the name of the chapter is finite difference formulation in this chapter we will learn how to convert partial derivatives into finite differences so that the computers can easily work on that uh, finite differences we know that the computers work only on uh, arithmetic operations and logic operations so that therefore uh, the partial deriv uh, derivatives must be converted into uh, the finite differences so that the computers can easily process process those uh, differences as a first lecture we are learning that how to approximate the partial derivatives by using the taylor series and taylor series uh, is taught in the course of uh, it's, it's taught in very initial course of calculus and the reader must be familiar to the taylor series although first consider an analytic consider an analytic function f of x and uh, and and what is an analytic function analytic function is one that is differentiable and it satisfies cauchy riemann equations and what are cauchy riemann equations that are um, taught in uh, in uh, mathematical methods functional analysis and advanced calculus so the reader must be must also be familiar to the cauchy riemann equation or cr equations what is the form of Taylor series? The, the, the reader must be familiar to it. The Taylor series about point x is given by this mathematical equation. And this equation can easily be written in the form of this summation. f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus partial uh, sorry plus delta x partial f by partial x plus delta x whole square divided by 2 factorial partial square f divided by partial x square and the third expression is this one and up to so on and we will name this equation as the equation number one and from this equation we can find out the value of partial f by partial x and this value comes out to be this and this equation can easily be found by taking all of these expressions except this to the left hand side of this equation and divide whole equation by delta x so that we get this e expression note that we can easily take delta x common from this this and all of the upcoming expressions so therefore we will uh, simply replace these all expressions by order symbol order of delta x and what is the order this is big o capital order big o and the definition of big o can easily be found uh, in the uh, courses of uh, perturbation theory in, in very beginning courses of perturbation theory the reader may also be familiar to um, the order symbol okay we can uh, uh, order of this uh, after of delta uh, order of delta x may simply mean here uh, that we can take uh, uh, delta x uh, common from all of these expressions okay now we will make use of the subscript index i if you will use this subscript i i is used i is used to represent the discrete points in x direction okay and this equation can be written as we will simply use f of x plus we will simply replace f of x plus delta x by f of i plus 1 in subscript and f of x by f of i so partial f by partial x i is equal to f of i plus 1 minus f of i divided by delta x plus order of delta x okay this equation is called the forward difference approximation of partial f by partial x and its order is delta x okay it was our first formula and this is finite difference forward difference of first derivative of order and this finite difference is of order delta x now we proceed further and we will now find the backward difference approximation we have we have to again consider the taylor series f of x minus delta x we we first uh, uh, found 
the expression for f of x plus delta x that was equivalent to this now we will find f of x plus delta x you will have to find it on your notebooks and it will be equivalent to this expression simply minus plus minus plus minus and up to so on and the summation is written in this form okay uh, this uh, uh, mm, uh, this equivalent uh, summation is left as an exercise to the viewer because uh, the uh, the viewer is familiar to the course of calculus where he converted different sequences in this form okay now we have to again take out partial f by partial x as we did previously and we get partial f by partial x i is equal to f of y minus f of y minus 1 divided by delta x of order delta x this is called uh, the backward difference equation and why it is called the backward difference approximation of partial f by partial x of order delta x because we are moving from i to i minus 1 we are moving backward while in this expression in the forward difference we we moved from i plus 1 to i which means uh, i to i plus 1 which means that we have moved from uh, backward to forward and therefore it is known as uh, backward uh, sorry forward difference approximation similarly we can also find the uh, central difference approximation next topic is uh, uh, is uh, the central difference uh, approximation how we can find the uh, central difference approximation we have find out the expression for f of x plus delta x and now we will uh, we have already found uh, the expression for f of x minus delta x now we simply uh, simply subtract f of x minus delta x from f of x plus delta x and we will find this expression 2 delta x partial f by partial x plus 2 by 3 factorial delta x cube partial cube f divided by partial x cube and up to so on we have to have uh, to eliminate partial f by partial x again as we did previously and we find this equation partial f by partial x is equal to sorry partial f by partial x plus this expression plus sub to so on is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x minus delta x divided by 2 delta x now we have to find out simply eliminate partial f by partial x and we will write it in the i subscript form we find f of i plus 1 this is f of x plus delta x and it is equivalent to f of f of i plus 1 and this is f of i minus 1 divided by 2 delta x and here we divide it by 2 delta x is equal to order of delta x care why did it come because uh, we had simply eliminated uh, delta x from here and we divided whole equation by 2 delta x so that we found this expression uh, and in this expression we can easily see delta x square and delta x square comes in all of the further expressions therefore we took it as a common and therefore we replaced all of the next expressions this expression and all of the next expression simply by order of delta x square this is what we call the central difference approximation of partial f by partial x that is first order derivative and and the order of this central difference approximation is order delta x square